Good day. Today we're going to discuss about electric circuit. This is the chapter 2 of your books. So it would be better if you do have your books with you as a guide as I discuss this topic. So before anything else, I would like to clarify some terminologies that you will encounter as we discuss this chapter. So first is electric circuit. An electric circuit is the interconnection of various active and passive components in a prescribed manner to form a closed path. For example, I have here a voltage source, suppose a battery. Again, the longer terminal will be the positive and the shorter one will be the negative. It's connected through a resistor, a capacitor, and inductor. So hopefully, um, you remember the symbols you have encountered in your laboratory experiment because as I was saying, you will encounter more of this through this chapter. So as you connect these components by a connector or a wire, forming or allowing the current to flow or intended the flow, this is now considered an electric circuit. Or another one, say I have here a current source, say again, connected through a resistor or any other component, po, as long as there will be a current flowing, this is considered as electric circuit. But as I connect these two circuits, say by a resistor or through a wire, then I add, I add another circuit, say current source through a resistor, this can be called as electric network. So basically, electric network is the interconnection or a combination of two or more circuits. So the idea is that this is a circuit in a more or in a larger scale. And basically, how can I differentiate a network with an electric circuit is that electric networks mostly or commonly composed of more than one sources, either voltage source or a current source. Now, network or electrical networks are classified into two. We have this so-called passive network. Passive network, from the word itself, passive is composed of Purely passive components. By the way, uh, as I mentioned passive components, passive components usually refer to these resistors, capacitors, and inductors. And as I use the word active components, active components refers to components that are commonly sources such as current sources and the voltage sources. So, Practically saying, a passive, ne passive network is a network that is, that is composed only by passive, passive components. Say, this resistor connected, say, with another resistor, an inductor, and a capacitor are considered or is considered as a passive network simply because it is all composed of passive components. And on the other hand, an active network is a network or a circuit that is composed or having consisted with at least one of active components. Say, if I'm going to connect this circuit with at least one source, either a voltage source or a current source, say, which is not limited in a single source. This is now considered as an active network simply because there is an existence of at least one active components or source.
Okay, now, another term that will be used is the node or commonly referred to as junction. Node or junction is defined as the connection point between two or more branches. In a circuit diagram, a node is sometimes indicated by a dot that may be a solder point in the actual circuit. Sa madalit sabi, sila yung mga point ng dugsungan. So, for example, in this circuit, this point, say point A and point B, are both considered junctions or node simply because this is the interconnection of two or more than wires. Meaning, this point cannot be considered as a junction simply because this is not a connection between two or more than wires. Why? So if I'm going to add or extend this circuit, say this one, how many nodes do we have here? So we have node A, node B, I can name this as node C, I can name this as node D. But actually, instead of 4, we only have 3 nodes here. Node A, node B, and node C. But how about node D? By definition, the node also in includes all the wires connected in a point. In other words, it includes all points at the same potential. This point B and point C are in different ele electric potential. Meaning, if you do still remember our discussion about electric potential, they are separated by a resistance. Meaning, the potential at B and potential at C is different. And based on that, this point B and C are considered as different nodes or two different nodes. The same with B and A and C and D. But how about A and D? Based on the definition, if they are connected by a wire without any component in between, these two nodes have the same electric potential or simply potential and therefore considered as a single node. If a short circuit connects two nodes, these two nodes are equivalent and in fact are just a single node even if two dots are shown. So even you name this as A and D and represented by two dots as long as they are connected by a wire again without any single component in between or separating the two nodes, they are considered same potential or same node. Why? Because I can actually redraw this circuit like this. And so you only have actually node B node C and this node A and D are actually considered as a single node. So for this circuit, we only have three nodes. For this circuit, we have two nodes, this one and this one. For this circuit or network, we have this circuit and another one. I, I mean, we have this node and this node. So we have two nodes here. How about for this uh, circuit or network, how many nodes do we have here? Say node A, node B, another node C, and these two nodes are considered as a single node, say node D. So for this circuit, we only have four nodes instead of five. So I hope I make myself clear on that. Now, talking about branch. Branch of a circuit is a single component such as a resistor or a source. But occasionally though, this term is applied to a group of components that carry the same current, especially when they are at, of the same type. What do you mean by that? See, I have here a circuit.
There you go. So, how do I consider a branch? Para madali, consider a node to another node. So, this is considered, say, this is node A, node B, and this is actually from A, if you're going to trace the line from A to B, this is a branch. Again, branch is considered or defined as a single component or a group of components carrying the same current. So, through this branch, there is only one current flowing through this wire. Again, a branch or a wire or a branch should carry a single current lang. Parang kalsada, one way na kalsada. Iisa lang, I mean, iisang direction lang yung dumadaan ng current. Bawal magsalubong. So, see, if I name this as C and D, this is actually a single branch. This is another branch. This is a branch. And this is another branch. But this one, again, will not be considered as a branch simply because this C and D are considered to be a single node. So, there is no branch. Or again, there is no single component in between C and D. So, again, by definition of branch, there should be at least a single component along that line. So, how many branches do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, we have 5 branches. How many nodes? We have four nodes here. How about the loop? What do you mean by loop? A loop is a closed path formed by starting at a node, passing through a set of nodes, and returning to the starting node without passing through any node more than once. Again, what is that? So, to make things easier, say consider a node. You're going to trace a line passing through a single component or series of components, passing through a node, returning to that the same node. So, kapag nakabalik ka na doon, sa node na pinag-umpisahan mo, regardless kung ilang component at ilang node ang nadaanan mo, consider yun as a single loop or a closed loop. Now, regardless, I mean, you must consider na isang beses lang madadaanan yung mga components na yun at saka yung mga node na yun. Say for example, if you're going to trace this from point A to B, papunta ng C, papunta ng D, hanggang A ulit, this is considered a single loop kahit may nadaanan siya or madam siyang nadaanan na components, may nada marami siyang nadaanan na nodes, basta isang beses siya lang madadaanan. So, this loop is considered another loop. Actually, from C, tracing to D hanggang dito is actually a node. This is also a node. I know a node is a loop rather. This is a loop. And the outside, this is the outside loop. But this one, say I'm going to start with A through B. Then trace it back here. So, this is not considered a single loop. Why? Kasi it passes through B and C or passing through nodes more than one. So, this is not considered, I mean, a loop. So, this is the individual loop but not this one. Again, just stick with the definition. Okay. So, 